let's check out today's creature feature. Our animal pal today is Bucky the beaver. Beavers are cool because they're builders. You think Bob is a builder? Well, he hasn't met God's original builder, the beaver. There's a reason people say they're busy as a beaver. Because beavers are busy building dams and lodges their homes. They must live in water to do so. But God equipped them perfectly for this. What is something that you that would be helpful for an animal to have if it needed to be able to cut down trees for building? Any ideas? Yes, Jesus created beavers with amazing teeth. They're self-sharpening, which means they're always sharp. This allows them to gnaw down trees quickly. They chop them down in an hourglass shape. Then they carry them to their watery homes. Raise your hand if you've ever gotten water in your mouth while swimming. Has that happened to you? It's happened to me. Well, God gave beavers special flaps in their mouths that allow them to chew underwater without getting water in their mouths. And God also gave them special valves in their ears and noses that close when they dive down into the water so no water enters their bodies. Now, do any of you wear swim goggles? Maybe the coolest invention God gave beavers is their transparent eyelids that they can see through. When they are underwater, they have an extra eyelid that is... They have an extra eyelid that is clear that always allows them to see without getting water into their eyes. It's like God designed them with built-in goggles. Beavers can swim underwater for a really long time. How do you think God designed beavers to enable them to breathe underwater for a long time? They have extra large lungs that let them store more air, and their hearts beat slower too, which conserves oxygen. Now, there, here's something I think is particularly amazing. Beavers seal their homes with mud to keep the cold air and water out. They enter from underneath the lodge. Wouldn't that be fun? But they have more than one entrance, usually. They have a secret back entrance in case they need to escape quickly. Beavers are busy building, and today we learned that Jesus is even now preparing a place for his children to live in forever. He's building his church and is interceding for his children. Isn't it wonderful? to know that Jesus is working on our behalf right now. Let's say our verse for the day. I go to prepare a place for you. John 14, 2. And if you're older, let's say the full verse. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? John 14, 2. Why don't we sing that song together? <laughs>